Death Becomes Her. This movie passes the Bechdel test. It passes the Bechdel test with flying colours. We have countless interactions between Meryl Streep, Goldie Hawn and Isabella Rossellini. Chatting, fighting, scheming. These women are awful. They make terrible choices with gruesome, hilarious consequences, looking fabulous whilst doing it. And Bruce Willis is unrecognisable as the equally terrible man stuck in the middle of them. What was originally intended to be a sequel to Tales of the Crypt instead became a genre-mixing, refreshingly original story. Streep's Madeline Ashton and Horn's Helen Sharp have been lifelong rivals and are now trying to beat each other out of the aging process with help from Rossellini. It's a concept that would work wonderfully on stage, with most scenes being duologues and the characters being so larger than life. The two leads give iconic comic performances and it's such a joy to watch them clearly have the time of their life. They're horrible, and there aren't enough horrible women in cinema. I don't mean actual villainesses, I just mean normal women who make awful choices that are selfish, vain or stupid because of actual character flaws that relate back to their childhood, not just because they're lazily written. Being released in 1992, the opening is a little dated and insensitive, and there could have been neater ways to tie things together. But with a PG rating, you could easily introduce this to your children. The violence and gore is comical, slapstick and supernatural. You have the best line delivery from Meryl Streep's entire career, and no one in this movie has any redeeming qualities. It's awesome. Director Robert Zemeckis and composer Alan Silvestri bring us the same manic, fun energy that they brought for the Back to the Future trilogy. With laughs aplenty, character-driven scenes, memorable characters, but this time the majority of the cast are women. I believe it should be held in the same high regard as The Adventures of Marty McFly. It's gothic and great. A fabulously funny romp that deserves more attention.